Good morning, I'm Ned Johnson, Assistant Superintendent for the Bridgeton Public School District. On behalf of the Office of Curriculum and Instruction, I would like to welcome you to the 2014-15 school year. We've had a very busy and productive summer as we've prepared for the return of staff and students. This continues to be a very exciting and busy time within the school district as we fine-tune TeachScape, prepare for park testing, and implement new curriculum and instruction materials. You will now hear from our curriculum directors and supervisors the specific details and programmatic updates that will be implemented during the school year. The Bridgeton High School Visual Performing Arts Department has expanded their course offerings, which is allowing students to take an arts elective each semester. Curriculum writing was completed this summer to change the Music Theory course to AP Music Theory. The music courses Choir 3 and 4 have been approved as a dual credit course with Cumberland County College. This past school year, the Bridgeton High School Visual Performing Arts Department hosted several visiting artists. Kevin Quigley, cartoonist, George Rabbi, professional musician and professor of music, Nine Ni Chen Dance Company, Mardell Dance Company, and Motion Dance Theater. The Bridgeton Visual Performing Arts Department continues to showcase and develop our students' interests and abilities through concert performances, involvement in performance competitions, art shows, art contests, digital art shows, theater showcases, dance showcases, and musicals. These accomplishments would not be possible if not for the dedicated visual performing arts staff and the support of school and district administration. At BHS, the Biology CP and Honors and Chemistry CP and Honors Curriculum Guides and Assessments were revised to increase rigor and incorporate the next generation science standards. Additionally, BHS business teachers revised the personal finance, intro to business, web page design, and the accounting one and two curriculum guides to reflect the newly adopted textbooks and Perkins recommendations. Finally, there will be a district-wide curriculum committee that will meet quarterly to review and discuss curriculum, student performance data, and dropout prevention strategies in the school district. This summer, 18 teachers in grades K-8 developed math assessments that align and reflect the park format. Also, the district will be utilizing the Fast Math Next Generation software in grades 2 through 5. Fast Math's adaptive technology creates an individualized learning progression for every student, and embedded assessments ensures math fact fluency and automaticity. This summer, the math teachers at Bridgeton High School revised the Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 assessments to align and reflect the PARC format. In addition, the CP and Honors Pre-Calculus Curriculum Guides were revised to reflect the newly adopted textbook. Starting this school year, BHS will be offering seniors who have passed the HESPA but who have failed the AccuPlacer test the opportunity to take the Cumberland County College Math Remediation course. Cumberland County College has agreed that if a student completes this course successfully, that he or she will be exempt from the college requirement to complete the remedial math course, specifically Math 091. Also new at BHS, the IXL.com math software program will be available in grades 9 through 12. This software program is aligned to the Common Core State Standards in Mathematics, offers a wide variety of question types from word problems to interactive graphing, and includes insightful reporting that tracks student progress. Response to Intervention in the Bridgeton Public School District is an intervention framework for students not meeting grade level benchmarks. The program consists of three tiers and is an instructional model that includes both large and small groups as well as one-on-one -on -one instruction for those students in need of intensive intervention. Increasing intensity throughout the tiers is achieved through the use of teacher-directed explicit instruction, increased frequency and or duration of instruction, use of small group and or one-on-one -on -one instruction, interpretation of data, and teacher expertise to address student needs. The RTI three-tiered model will serve to prevent and correct learning difficulties by utilizing effective strategies throughout the tiers. For the 2014-15 school year, there will be a strict focus on guided reading instruction in grades K through 2, whereas the RTI teacher and the Tier 1 teacher will collaborate to best meet the needs of the students to ensure they are reaching reading benchmark levels.
This year, we will journey into the Common Core. Journey's Common Core is a comprehensive reading language arts program designed to move students to the Common Core State Standards Mastery by the end of each grade. Journey's Common Core lessons reflect the pedagogical shifts demanded by the Common Core State Standards and the points of emphasis made by the authors of the Common Core, such as a balance of informational and literary text, high quality, complex text, text dependent questions and tasks, using text evidence in writing and to answer questions, reading multiple texts about the same domain to facilitate knowledge building, classroom collaboration activities, short and extended research projects, and using multimedia and technology in thoughtful and practical ways. Also, this year, guided reading will be redefined and monitored in our K-5 classrooms. Our middle grades ELA and social studies curriculums have been redesigned to include scaffolds for teaching close reading and creating text-dependent questions. You will notice the inclusion of Hispanic, Jewish, African American, and women's studies in our social studies curriculum. The new format for the ELA and social studies will provide resources to increase the rigor and reading complexity for our 6th to 8th grade learners. The technology department has once again been busy this summer. We have updated all the K-8 technology literacy curriculum to align with the 2009 New Jersey Common Core Curriculum Standards 8.1 and 8.2. We added park testing and keyboard skills throughout the curriculum. Students and teachers can now use the following online software applications. Google Docs, Google Site, Google Drive, Infused Learning, Class Dojo, Dropbox, WeTransfer, Evernote, and SlideShare. We purchased laptop carts for each of the buildings in the district. We increased the internet bandwidth to one gig, upgraded the wireless system at the high school, and added additional wireless access points to all the other buildings in the district. We will continue to provide everyone access to relevant technologies to be productive digital 21st century learners. Thank you, and have a tremendous year.